Hey, welcome back to the channel. Now today we want to talk about phase and why having your speakers in phase is important. So let's 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 imagine for a moment that um, you know you have two speakers on both sides of your audio rack. You're listening to music, right? Now when your speakers are in phase, what happens is that the sound waves emanating from both of those speakers, they kind of reinforce each other, they strengthen each other, right? As long as they're in phase, right? When they're out of phase, you know, this is just kind of a simple explanation. When they're out, when they're out of phase, the signal, the signals, you know, the waveform, the signal waveform, the, the audio signal, they tend to cancel out each other, right? And so, you know, your sound, your audio or whatever, your signal, um, you know, turns out to be quite weak and um, just not strong, put it that way. So one of the most important thing um, for you and, you know, an enthusiast or a hobbyist um, is to make sure that if you are doing any kind of connection, if you're connecting your speakers to an amplifier, it is important to make sure, to ensure that your, your speakers are in phase, right? So, essentially, when your speakers are not in phase, this is what happens, right? Um, like I mentioned earlier, um, the, 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 the signals from maybe the left and the right channel, they cancel out each other. So your bass becomes weak, um, your stereo imaging is not um, strong, your sound stage is not defined, and, and so the overall presentation is not what it should be like, right? So, when your speakers are in phase, this is what happens, this is what kind of happens, right? So I have two speakers on, on both sides of me here, uh, let me just pull them in closer so you can see them. I just picked up these two, uh, these two speakers um, like two days ago. Um, someone in my community was selling them. They're actually Martin Logan um, bookshelf speakers. I've never used Martin Logan before. So I thought I would, I would um, pick them up and try them. I haven't even hooked them up yet. <laughs> I have not hooked them up yet. I don't know um, what they sound like yet. But I'm going to... Um, try them anyway. All right, so you can see the drivers. Hopefully you can see the drivers. So when your speakers are in phase, both of the drivers move in unison, right? We're talking about the, um, the bass driver especially, or, or, or all the drivers in, in, in the cabinet should move in unison, right? So, you know, if this drive, driver moves forward, you know, depending on the, the audio signal, this one should move in unison together, right? 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 Yeah. So that's what ha that is what kind of happens when your speakers are in phase. Um, when your speakers are in phase, also, like I mentioned before, you get much better stereo imaging, much better, you know, um, stereo separation, so to speak. Um, your sound stage is more defined, you can hear instruments better. Um, yeah, that's what happens when, you're, when, you're, when, you're, when, you're, when your speakers are in phase. Um, you tend to get a fuller and richer sound, you know, it's, some, it's more dynamic. Um, the bass is more tighter, the bass is more well-defined, the bass is, is, is accurate. You know, so um, that's those are some of the, the you know the, the points, or should I say, the, the important um, points in you know in having your speakers in phase, right? So you can you can have your speakers out of phase by mainly, or should I say, speakers get out of phase generally um, due to one main issue. And that issue is the fact that sometimes we, we do not observe polarity when we are connecting our speakers. 
For example, I'm just going to turn around this speaker here so you can see you can see see the back. Let's hope you can see the back. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to turn it upside down because I'm not sure you're, I'm not sure whether or not you're able to see the um, the binding post, right? All right, so here it is. This is turned upside down. Okay, so you notice we have a red one here, and we have a black one here. You know the binding post, right? And the red one denotes positive, and the black one is negative, right? Now on your amplifier and your or your receiver, you will observe observe the same thing. The red ones are positive are positive and the black ones are negative. Right? So let me just grab a piece of um a piece of um speaker cable here. Um so let's see what we have. So this um so this this cable here is uh, it's not the best um, to, to demonstrate this because this this cable it, 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 it's it's red um, completely both negative and positive sides of it are red but generally what I do to to make sure that my polarity is correct I would um, look for the the side that has you know the writing on it any kind of printout and I would have that as the positive sorry and the other side without any writing that would be my negative all right so on the positive on the on the positive side I would put the banana this is these are banana plugs by the way I would put um, the banana plug with the red writing on it I'm not sure if you're able to see this but it has a red writing and on the negative um, banana plug the negative connection I'll, I'll Put the um, I'll attach the banana plug with the with the black writing. So this kind of helps me to to ensure that okay, um, I'm going to be plugging in, um, you know, the red which is positive into the into the speaker and the black which is which is negative, and that will kind of help me to ensure that um, my my connection is is good. Right, so what happens when speakers get out of phase is that sometimes by mistake, by mistake we put the, we end up putting the the positive one in the negative, and the negative one in the positive, right? Okay, so if if this so okay so right now this one is incorrectly connected and say this one is properly connected. Now, when you're playing back audio, whether it be home theater or, you know, two-channel audio, what is going to happen is that as the drivers are moving, um, you would find that one driver is moving forward while the other driver is moving backward. You understand? And this is what, this is what um, out of phase means right the speakers are out of phase right because one driver is moving is moving forward and the other one is moving backwards so they're not in unison if you understand what I'm saying they're not they're not moving together there's no cohesion there's no um, you know they're not in agreement <laughs> let's put it that way so all kind of stuff happen when um, when that when that happened when that happens, you know, your bass, like I said, your your, your bass get weak, your stereo signal is not defined, your um, your sound stage is not is not good, and because you know the speakers are not moving in agreement. So this is this this demonstration here is more or less for um, a stereo setup, a two-channel setup. But if you're also setting up for home theater. This is something that you have to ensure that happens that um, that um, that you know that happens as you're making your connections. So for me personally, I would check and double check and double check, right? If I'm connecting the center channel to my amp, I have to make sure that the positive terminal of the speaker is connected to the positive terminal of the of the center channel 
output on the um, on the receiver, and and you know if I'm connecting um, you know my right channel or my left channel, my front channels, I have to you know I have to make sure that my positive my positive ends of my of my cables are connected to the positive and you know the positive positive and negative ends of the of the speaker and the the amplifier or the receiver sometimes it's even good to you know to trace this is something that is important guys you need to double check and double check and double check to make sure that you know all your connection all your connections you know you're observing polarity with all your connections if you don't do that then um, you're going to run into phase phase issues you know you're going to have um, audio that doesn't sound good and you're wondering what is going on you know you connect up everything but but still um, you know nothing is sounding the way that um, it should be sounding right so and you know um, the good thing about a lot of these receivers nowadays um, some of them are so advanced I'm talking about home theater receivers now um, you know you can run some so, some checks and the receiver will, will tell you that okay uh, X or Y speaker is not in phase but you know sometimes they do make mistakes I've had um, I've run calibration before and uh, the receiver would say this that you know X or Y speaker is out of phase and when I when I double check when I go back to and I double check um, I trace everything all my connections it's in phase so I don't know what I don't know what what is happening there but um, nevertheless it's always a good idea for you to always double check your speaker connections to ensure that all your connections are are polarity match um, you know you're observing polarity left you know positive positive and negative as you um, as you make your connections um, you know everything will sound sound so much sweeter so much better so much more um, refined and 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 you know the, the overall presentation of your of your sound will be much much better right so I just thought I would share that with you today why it's important to to um, to ensure that um, your speakers are in phase whether it's for two channel you know left you know left and right setup or it's for home theater you know so you can imagine you're running a Dolby a Dolby Atmos system with like four high channels and you know um, um, I've say five bed channels you know surround channels down here plus um, yeah you have to you have to diligently go through all your connections it's always good just do it once make sure that all your connections are properly terminated properly um, as it relates to polarity and um, yeah you're on your way to enjoy good sound all right so if you like this video um, just give me a thumbs up if you like you know my little tips and tricks here and there and home theater and two channel um, don't forget to subscribe all right this is a simple audio video where we talk about you know the hobby and the love of audio video gear um, you know listening to to you know to music and and movies and yeah thank you for watching and have a great day